first introduce yourself. What's, what's your first and last name and tell us where you're from? Yeah, um, I, I am uh, David Hill II, uh, and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Um, I was born and raised here. St. Louis, Missouri. Now, I know St. Louis got a couple of different sides of town. Are you from yeah. the what, what side of town are you from? Like what what break down St. Louis for me because I'm not I'm not familiar. Yep, yep. So I'm from the north side of St. Louis. Um you'll hear like the north side, you hear like uh the old north side of St. Louis. Um it's pretty much uh it's like five minutes away from downtown. You know, it's it's uh I don't know if you view it's it's like connected to uh you know some big streets uh here in St. Louis, such as like Grand and Natural Bridge and all those things that you might hear, like a nut, uh, I don't know, like certain like St. Louis, like artists and whatnot. I don't know, they kind of try to rap about those streets to kind of put us on. So there's some things that be like, have you heard those in like a Nelly song when we rap about the streets? So I'm pretty much like right here in the heart of it. Like right, I, I mean, it's similar to your story, man. I grew up, you know, straight up in the hood, straight up. You know, straight up. So you went to so like what school system? You in elementary school and uh, what was like? Yeah. Uh, so like, well, like, walk I'm, me through. Walk me through, man. So like, man, yeah. you born in St. Louis? Yeah. And like went to yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean. So as far as just like being born in St. Louis, uh, I was fortunate enough to where like my mother was able to, you know, say, okay, I go ahead and put you on like these Catholic schools, but in the uh, city, you know, um. I think that we was fortunate enough to have, I don't even know if they're still open. You know, we done had COVID, a lot of things shut down. But um, uh, uh, in the uh, city, you know, just when I was coming up and either uh, after, you know, it, it was a big chain of like Catholic schools that you can go to in the city. So, you know, boom, that's where I went. And, you know, it's kind of like you're getting all of the same things, except you don't have to drive 30, 45 minutes to get out, like to the county or whatever the case may be. So. Uh, the county hospital? Mm -hmm. You said you got to drive 45 minutes to get to the county? Like the the county is what we call like, it's not the city. Like you're going like further out. It's God. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You talking about the hospital? No, yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. It's just like, it's just like, uh, uh, it's not the city. It's like, uh, God, it's, I can't, I can't really. The burbs, like the burbs. Like the yep, 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 yep. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, you know, um, and like I had, I had like a pretty, you know, like typical childhood. Uh, sports was, you know, the main hub and everything I did. Sports and uh, singing, you know, that's that's like all I did during school. Oh. Uh, plays and theater and all of that. Sports, uh, concerts, all of that. That's was like literally like my life until you know uh, certain points, and it was still sports, but. Um, so, so what you went to high school, you played sports in high school, yeah, I'm assuming. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then yeah. high school happened. Then what after what, what happened after high school? Yep. Um high school, you know, I was I was like, okay, I want to try to go to college. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and stick with football. Um, and that was my way of, you know, just getting a scholarship and being able to go to college. So um I went to Urbana University, which is up in Ohio. They closed down because of COVID. So but I was like, hey, all of my, all my compliments are set in stone now. I can't really go back and break those because it's closed. So. And uh, yeah, you know, just kind of fast forward, like after college, man, it's really, you know, it was really like all about like becoming kind of like a regular, you know, citizen at that point, you know. Oh, like really? so, you, so you went to college, play football. Yeah. So like, you major, what you major in? communications uh like business market and stuff like that i i actually switched over i mean my freshman year i was in like i was doing like business and some rather and i was like is this really what i want to do because i remember man it was it was it was terrible like when i got there you know they just kind of like put you in a room and it was like okay pick something it's like man i don't know man i'm 18 years old man i don't know so uh, I tried the business and then I switched over to the communication side and it just kind of rolled that out. It was like, okay, I'm, you know, I'm good with, uh, speaking with people. But at the end of the day, I wish I would have just went with, uh, my heart, athletic training, sports, something. And you know what I mean? Who knows? Man, I was just trying to be different. I was just trying to be different. Uh, but, yeah. All right. So <laughs> anyway, you, man, you, all right, football. So then make it to the league. You're like, all right, try to get to the league and make the league. And so then, like after college, you come back. You come back to St. Louis. 
yeah, 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 back home. And it was all about, you know, you know, just taking a short break and then trying to get that resume going, trying to, you know, start getting into this work corporate mindset or whatever you want to call it, you know, just trying to say, just, you know, okay, I need to try to get a job now. Yeah. Um, how'd, uh, that, how'd that go, man? Because like people are like, all right, it's like you try to yeah. get a job. How many jobs? Did you, <laughs> how'd it go? <laughs> Man, I had I had a whole bunch, man. That's one thing I was like, man, like compared to like my mom, like I was just like, man, it's just crazy how different our work careers are. Like she's been somewhere for like 20 years and I probably had close to 20 positions and a half that time. Like it's just like, man, but it was it was it was tough because obviously I didn't I didn't you know I mean, have any experience doing anything. You know, what I mean, I was a I was an athlete. You know what I mean? I'm an athlete and I do other things that you that, you know, like uh, jobs don't care about on a resume. So. Uh, I mean, I had to start off small. I had to uh, bartending, you know what I mean, things like that. And then after that, I finally got how many? Out. How many things? Because you know, it's like, man, you like, you know, uh, how many days you're like, bartending? Then you know, bartending. So give me your like, give me the unofficial bart- resume. Yeah, it was like, uh, it was like bartending, and and then I went straight into customer service. And then after that, I finally landed a sales role, a full-time sales role, um, selling a biological cleaning products. So you can imagine how like, eh, like it, it's uh, basically like cleaning products using enzymes. So instead of like the harsh Clorox bleach, it was like, hey, try this green cleaner. Yeah. Um, Commission only? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. It was like 12, 50 plus commission, but the commission was so tough to get because it was like, you know, it's just a tough, it was tough. So that's why I got my stripes right there. Boom, my sales job. And then after that, you know, I was able to like link up with one of those recruiters, uh, staffing agencies type deals. Um, and that was, it was a pretty good, um, it was a pretty good opportunity because it, it uh, put my foot in a lot of, you know, just different doors in a short amount of time. So I can try to beef up their resume. So um, you know, I was doing things like HRIS systems and the HR department, you know, just working with different teams there, supporting different like coordinators at, you know, like certain uh, companies. Like, for example, it's like a private branding company here. Uh, company here. I was supporting the art coordinator. I was like, it, I was like her backup, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, and just doing those type of jobs, doing those contract jobs, working probably like six, seven months. And then, you know, uh, I'll go ahead and move on. And then finally I uh, landed, my last position was a recruiter uh, in the medical transportation field. Um, and my main, my biggest main state that I had was the state of Illinois. It is a beast. It's a beast, it's a beast. But there, man, it's uh, literally where, so like from there to there, man, I probably worked about eight, different positions maybe you know what I mean and then in the medical transportation field uh you know it's really where I kind of put it all together I was able to like for example I was able to onboard one of the biggest transportation uh the biggest transportation providers that the state of Illinois has so you know what I mean I took that as like my you know slam dunk you know what I mean touchdown like yes so you know what I mean because because it gets tough in the recruiting uh field as well and then you know, I got a little, well, uh, not a little, I got a lot of, of uh, tired and just fed up and burned out. And, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, you know, we was looking for a change. And then, boom, I got sent this uh, rework program and right. fast forward to right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. So, so, like, so when you think about rework, you think about the, you know, the program, like what was one of the biggest takeaways, if any, that you got from the program? Yeah, uh, for me, for me, it wasn't um, it wasn't really the fact of like I was excited for tech sales because I mean I had already dabbled in that. I was I was actually trying to get into that while I was in a while I was in my last position as a as a recruiter. I was trying to do that on the side, but it just had become too much for me at the time. So I was just like. I'm trying to come back to this later. And then boom, I get the rework going. So I'm like, oh, okay. So let me, and this was sent, you know, like by like a resource that was already in the tech and data field. It's like a data scientist slash this, slash this. So, you know what I mean? And like somebody that I, um, you know, just kind of following, like look up to. 
And like the thing I had got out of it is like it revamped just my way of thinking and approaching those interviews that all, you know, become like mundane and, you know, the same and, you know, can be like repetitive and you have to keep, you know, like telling that story and it can become intimidating. It can become daunting because that's usually the first question you get, like, tell the story, tell the story. And that's kind of like, okay, it like gives you like a, a, a thing to read about a person if they can kind of, you know, eloquently, uh, you know, just like tell that story, you know, from then to now. Um, and that's what it did. You know, I didn't have to worry about, oh, like is uh, tech sales on, or uh, tech period, you know, is this something I want to get into? You know, it wasn't a question. It was just about getting more confidence in just that process alone. And after that, I mean, you know, just after the first week, I took it out to an interview I had here in St. Louis. It was an in-person interview. Took it out. Boom. Got an offer. But it wasn't what I uh, wanted ultimately. So I was like, OK. It got my game, you know, it's just kind of like the game, you know what I mean? It got my game right. I mean, I used to think I'd be, you know, just like crushing the interviews, you know what I mean? Like walking out of there, like, oh man, I know I did it. No, I did it. But obviously it was something missing from it just, and then, you know, I think overall, that's just what the rework get. And along from that, and then, you know, like just the support. Like today I have my meeting with uh, my mentor that I met through Sprout Social. He's now at Amazon. So, you know, you know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're still rapping with it at uh first it was, it was uh weekly, then it went to bi-weekly. And now I think it's, it's just on like a monthly thing. So just like a monthly yeah, check-in yeah, check yeah, with yeah. later today. You know what I mean? And like, that's what I was looking for too. You know, it, I don't know if you can grab it, but I come, I come from that single home. So, you know what I mean? It was always me. I mean, like now I'm a big brother, so I'm teaching, but I was kind of, you know, just like grabbing from here and here to be taught. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when I find like a little, I don't know, club, it could be a club, it could be a, you know what I mean? Anything, just like something to gravitate to like some more minds to say, hey, man, I, I need some help too. Or, you know what I mean? And like, that's like perfect because now if I'm having a, a day, if I'm going through something, I got another source of support to say, hey, man, I've been there. Like, you know, like this is what you should do, you know? So yeah, man, the support. And, you know, just getting my uh, confidence back up and getting that game uh, going. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. And so if you can go back and tell, so how you doing now, man? How, what, what's, what's happening now with you? Like, what's, what's next for you? Two questions and then a statement left. But like, how you doing now? What's next for you? Yeah, uh, currently at Indeed as a uh, contractor uh, for now, hoping to become a full-time at the top of the year. So. That's why I really been trying to um, hit it hard here as best as I can. Um, I am a client, client success specialist, um, and I'm hoping to transition over to a full implementation specialist here soon. So, you know, again, that's why I'm trying to come in, you know, fast. Um, you know, I'm trying to, uh, I'm, well, like, for example, I'll, I've already jumped on my first case. That's like, our our first uh like opportunity to go ahead and you know like start implementing things so it's always better for me to just dive in you know what i mean i can't keep waiting i can't keep waiting like okay we've been learning 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 you can't you know what i mean i gotta jump in the pool sooner or later so you know what i mean i've already dived in so yeah man i'm, tr I'm trying to show that you know what I mean? I'm here for all of the smoke, basically, man. Like, I'm going to take on any, anything head on because I, I want that full time. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like, you know what I mean? I'm trying out still, basically, in my mind. So, you know what I mean? Even though, even though I got a pretty good feeling, I mean, I kind of got some, you know what I mean? Like, this whole, like, indie relationship was uh, built over a while, too. So, you know what I mean? I, I, I know certain people like here and there. So I'm always making sure that, you know what I mean? I'm I'm like leached on to them, you know, just kind of making sure I got to do what I have to do to make sure I, I uh, stand out. Um, and that's what's next, man. I'm I'm just trying to show those true colors so I can be, you know what I mean? Full. That's it. Yep. That's it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Cool. So uh, last two things. So first, if you could tell somebody that, like, you know, is in your situation, just came out of college or something, they like, God, dog, I got to transition into this world. They trying to figure it out. 
Like, what would you tell them now, you know, having been a part of this community, a part of this community, what would you tell that person is the first question. Like, basically, if there were, you know, like, just graduating and trying to look for kind of like that boost, kind of like the direction to go in. Yep. Or even if they just like, they've been graduated and they just like, you know, they working at, so sell, they selling that green yeah. agent. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, it. Um, I mean, the first thing, uh, especially if I just got, you know, like now, uh, for example, I mean, hell, I already had a few people. I was like, man, you know, just kind of in my head is, you know, I think that they should really try because it's like I said, it's going, it's going to give you that spark. And like I almost took it as like a competition with like the other, you know what I mean? Folk. Like, okay, like, okay, you gonna get high, you gonna get high. Even though I did come in, you know what I mean, last in the finish line. It was cool. It was, I was like, ooh, you know what I mean? But like that put that fire under me. You know, like if you look in. You know what I mean? To know that you're not alone out here, man. You know, dude, like when you're doing this search, you like, I gotta be the only one that they turning down. Like, can't nobody get, you know, be getting rejected more than I am right now. Me, why is this happening to me? But it's happening to a lot of people, man. Like a lot of people going through the same thing. And that takes the sting off that punch. That's just that much. You, you can calm down. You're not in a competition with nobody. You know, that's the thing too, you know, you think you got it. And it, and it, and it is a rat race to an extent, but you know what I mean? That's the, that's the thing. I just think with that, man, I would explain to that person, like this, this is like, I mean, it's cliche, but yeah, I wish I would have had it five years ago. You know what I mean? I wish I would have known something like this. I was just trying to do it all, all solo. You know what I mean? All solo, just trying to get it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's all it's always better with a team. It's always better with a team. It's a mastermind, you know what I mean? More than one brain on a project. So yeah, that's dope, man. That's dope. All right, last thing, last thing. So, like, you know, we got this uh our slogan is get this work. Just cause like, man, we go to companies and they be like, oh, we want more people of color. We're like, dude, you gotta change the way you're doing things. That's gonna take some work, gotta get this work, right? We for for you all, it's like, man, you know, we don't mind telling you, like, man, your interview skills whack you better get this work like you're gonna need some 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 adjustments and so like man if you could give us like a something like some inspiration or whatever you got and then and it would get this work and that way i can like the, this is the commercial okay so I'm just then get this work man <laughs> it's hard for me to be a lyricist on the spot Freestyle, uh, man it don't gotta be it could be simple it could be like fry you know it's like it could be a, it could be like the football huddle you know, like man, yeah, yeah, game yeah. time is like, yeah, it, it can yeah. be one of those. Yeah, I mean, I'm just go back to what I was just saying, man. You know what I mean? You know, just don't, just don't be afraid. You know, to actually reach out and actually use someone else for that knowledge for you to be able to get ahead in life. In that way, you'll definitely be able to get this work. Solid, bro. 